Hey guys, it's CJ of Yugatech, and in today's modern world, we've come to rely on fast and stable internet connections for literally everything, from work, entertainment, and communication, to achieve the best internet connections at home or in your workplace, understanding the key components of your network setup is crucial. In this video, we'll explore the roles and functions of various devices commonly used in home or small office networks, such as modems, switches, routers, repeaters, and mesh systems, to ensure you get the fastest, most stable, and widest coverage internet connections that work for you. Let's get into it. Let's kick things off with the most basic part of your network setup. And that's the modem. A modem, short for modular demodulator, is the device that connects you or your home to your ISP. It's responsible for receiving data from your ISP, often via a wired connection, through a coaxial cable, DSL copper cable, or fiber optic cable. To simply put, it's the bridge or gateway between your ISP's network and your home network. The modem started out during the dial-up era where connections ran through the telephone lines. You see, the phone lines were originally meant for voice calls and use an analog signal. The dial-up modem translates the analog signal to digital signal and vice versa, with it receiving or sending information over the telephone lines. Thus, the term modulation and demodulation. By early 2000, dial-up modems were soon replaced by broadband modems for a much faster DSL technology, along with the less popular cable internet that goes with our cable TVs. These cables have higher capacity so that the modem can receive or send higher data bandwidth. These days, most households are connected via fiber cables. Since fiber was designed to transmit data, you no longer need a modem. Instead, you need to use an optical network terminal, or ONT. The ONT acts as a translator somewhat similar to how a modem works. In some circles, it's also referred to as the fiber modem. This is the small device where your fiber cable ends and then hooks up to the Wi-Fi router. Let's move on to the main aspect when wanting to expand your Wi-Fi coverage at home, and that's the router. Unlike modems that only produce one IP public address, a router connects to each device wired or wirelessly and gives each its own private IP address, which it then uses to route traffic. This network created by your router is what's called a local area network, or LAN for short. It connects to a larger and wide area network, or WAN otherwise known as the internet. Think of your modem's IP address as the street number your house is on, while your router gives each device connected their own specific IP address, or in this sense, specific room numbers in the house. Then the router can tell where data can specifically go. Routers then work to manage these addresses so that all of your devices can share a single public IP address provided by your ISP. This allows it to handle internal traffic within your home network and allow your devices to communicate with external servers to ensure the appropriate data is being sent to and from each device. For most home networks, you could make do with just using a modem or a router for your ISP if it's just in a small space. But once you start expanding your internet setup, you'll find that getting a separate router may be necessary. And sometimes, Wi-Fi signals from your router may not reach all areas from your home due to physical obstacles, interference, or having a large area to cover. A repeater, also known as a range extender, is designed to address this issue. It receives the existing Wi-Fi signal from your router and sends it to extend coverage to areas with weak or no signals, eliminating any dead spot in your home on where it's placed. What's great about repeaters is that they're dead easy to set up. It usually just needs to be plugged into any electrical outlet on a space between the room with no Wi-Fi and the actual router. Lastly, there's the most comprehensive and yet one of the best solutions for large homes or areas with challenging Wi-Fi coverage, and that is the mesh Wi-Fi system. A mesh Wi-Fi system consists of multiple interconnected devices, including a main router and satellite nodes. And think of these nodes as mini Wi-Fi extenders that work together to create a seamless and robust Wi-Fi network throughout your home, automatically optimizing data traffic and signal strength. This gives your whole house coverage with no dead zones under one Wi-Fi signal, while also allowing users to set up and manage usually through some kind of mobile app. What's also great is that mass systems can intelligently route data for the best performance as well as allow you to scale by adding more nodes if you plan to expand its coverage. So that wraps it up. 
Understanding the roles and functions of Wi-Fi modems, routers, repeaters, and mesh systems are essential in optimizing your home network, which each device serves a unique purpose to ensure reliable and fast internet connectivity. Whether you're working, streaming, gaming, or simply browsing the web, by tailoring your network setup to your specific needs, you can enjoy a seamless online experience throughout your home. Well, that's it for this video. If you found it informative, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to follow us on our socials below. Again, this has been CGF Tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!